Hi everyone, welcome to Angel Love 333. So Aquarius, today we're going to do your September 2021 reading. As always, it is a general reading, may not resonate with everybody out there. Uh, if it resonates with you, there will be an extended reading link below, so you can check that out. Uh, the extended will just be on a love situation. Uh, for the monthly and weeklies, I do pick up on all the energies, uh, whether it's love, career, finances, what have you. Uh, I do also do separate love readings if you'd like to check that out. That is in the uh, description box in the playlist link. So uh, with that, uh, the last thing I'll say is I do do a monthly giveaway. I do give away free personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you're already a subscriber, you just need to like and comment. So good luck, and let's get started with your reading, Aquarius. What's coming in for Aquarius? And I'd like you to know I am doing a new spread called the Horseshoe Spread. One more card. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck here, you have the Nine of Cups. So this is the energy that is upcoming on the bottom of the deck. So you may not be expecting this, but I do sense here there is some sort of wish fulfillment that is happening here for you. Now, in your past energy, you have the Queen, um, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles here. It's a very independent energy. Um, it can be an energy you may be, have recently uh, decided to start your own business. Can be, um, you may be doing very well, feeling very grounded, right? It's a very attractive energy, right? Um, maybe you recently received some sort of job offer, okay? Uh, we'll clarify the cards. You also have here the sun card in your current energy, which is just beautiful, right? A lot of growth, a lot of happiness, a lot of peace, prosperity, right? For uh, um, some of you, you could even be pregnant. That's not going to be for all of you. Uh, so we'll go through these. In your hopes and fears uh, position, you have the five of pentacles. So there may be an energy here where you may be fearing that you don't have enough or you're feeling lack in a situation. Some of you may, you know, this can also be a single energy, right? Some of you may be a single parent. Um, and it may be an energy here where you may be feeling like you don't have enough to provide, right? This also can be an energy here of feeling left behind by somebody as well. So there may be somebody around you, you know, you're not feeling uh, supported or you're feeling left behind. Now in your challenge position, you have the magician, okay? So there may be a challenge here where you're needing to take some sort of action or you're needing to uh, move in a new direction uh, and maybe you're not feeling supported by somebody and it can be uh, like I said somebody could have left you behind if it was a relationship or didn't value you and now you're having to uh, start or create a new beginning okay now in the energy around you you have the two of pentacles okay so this can be an energy of feeling unbalanced or having to juggle uh, money or resources uh, also can be somebody around you who is a bit unbalanced right maybe somebody who can't make up their mind about a situation like I said if you are dealing in love now in your outcome here you do have the five of cups okay so we'll clarify this this can be an energy here where you're just feeling very disappointed about a situation right or you could just be focused on something uh that happened here right that you're feeling at a loss but the interesting thing is is your reading so far looks very good the only thing here is this five of pentacles right so you some of you may be focused 
maybe on a love situation or somebody who wasn't supporting you and you're and you may be still focused on that but with this five of cups it comes to tell you you know you may be feeling you know sad disappointed about you know what hasn't gone right or what didn't go right with this three of cups but you have two cups behind you that you're not seeing right and those are perfectly uh standing up and full right so let's clarify the cards and as i said i do sense look at that i do sense there is some sort of wish fulfillment coming in for you here with the judgment card and the nine of cups so this can be an energy of karmic rewards coming your way right uh, this can be an energy of somebody returning from your past right to heal a situation whether it is a lover a friend a family member what have you okay and right below that is the queen of swords energy which is your energy so you know you may uh, be in a different element right now where you're really just trying to make clear decisions discern decisions right you may have even um you know cut somebody out of your life you know because of lack of support or this person may not have valued or respected you and look what you have here you also have the page of wands so it can indicate a new love coming in it also can be uh, somebody returning from the past here with communication so that is upcoming so there is i feel there's some sort of um wish fulfillment here or something that's taking place that's going to make you very happy so let's uh, clarify some of these cards right i think we're good here with the queen or the nine of pentacles the sun card uh i definitely get with that sun card it's a very nice energy right there's an energy of growth here prosperity happiness stability why is the five of pentacles here please remember this is a feat you have the eight of cups you have the ace of wands and you have the nine of swords and bottom of the deck here you have the three of swords so i definitely get there was a situation that disappointed you right and um i feel here you have the eight of cups and you have the nine of swords so i feel like you're having a hard time from walking away from the situation or letting go of the situation like i said it can be a love interest it could be you know a family member you know some of you like i said could be pregnant um, or have a child here and you're just not feeling supported or you have the fear of not enough finances right um, you do have the ace of wands here as well so some of you may be feeling like um, you're not going to get the opportunity that you're wanting or you know it can just be an energy too of not feeling very passionate because uh you're not feeling supported right or maybe you are feeling like you don't um the fear of having not having enough right but i feel here with this energy you are going to have enough here with the sun card and the nine of cups whether this is love for you or whether this has to do with uh, career and finances so the energy around you with this two of pentacles let's see why the two of pentacles is here please all right so you have there's that nine of cups energy again you have the king of wands all right you have the seven of cups oh two of pentacles all right and the king of swords and bottom of the deck here there's that queen of pentacles okay i do feel here aquarius um this is an energy where i feel like you may have more than one option in your situation right um and that might be what you're going back and forth with but i do see some sort of offer this can even be money coming in for you queen of pentacles um like i said there's some sort of wish fulfillment so it can be an offer here it can you know whether that's love or money it can also be um you know money starting to come in if you're starting a business but let's go through these <clears throat> you have the nine of cups and you have the king of wands i feel there's a situation here okay this is energy around you 
Okay, so this could be somebody around you, but it also can just be you, right? Feeling in that energy of an imbalance, having to make some sort of decision or where to put your time and your energy. Um, I feel there's definitely an energy of somebody thinking here, right? Somebody thinking here, what's going to make them happy? What action do I need to take? So this could be you or somebody around you, right? It's showing me here there's some sort of new beginning that's going to happen, right? This is your challenge position. So whether you're trying to make some changes in your life and you're having a hard time feeling unbalanced, but this also can be, you know, if you're dealing in a love situation, this could be somebody around you. Now you have the seven of cups, right? And the two of pentacles here again. I do sense there's an energy of the possibilities, right? Looking at the possibilities, where to put your time and energy in a situation. So like I said, you could be dealing with a particular person who may have options, right? Somebody who could be a bit unbalanced, somebody who could be focused on their money. But this can be you if this is about your own career and your finances. You do have the King of Swords here, which tells me with this King of Swords, okay, again, another energy. You have the Queen of Swords energy before, and now you have the King of Swords. So there definitely could be, this could be somebody in your life, right, who is very indecisive energy somebody who you know may have other options it does feel like this person wants to make some sort of decision right somebody wants to communicate here as well but this just can be your energy like i said um, another confirmation here trying to uh, make decisions in your life right maybe having more than one possibility or option now, uh, let me call it the signs because I haven't done that. You have uh, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You have strong Leo, right? Um, you have here fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, your energy, and Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You pretty much have all the energies on the board, but you have very strong uh, Leo energy so far. Now let's look on the bottom of the deck. We'll clarify this Five of Cups. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? A card of uh, stability, right? Doing very well for yourself. You have the Queen and the Nine now. So I feel like there either could be some sort of offer that's coming your way, right? That's going to provide stability, money coming in. Some of you, this could be a love offer. You also have the Hermit, very strong uh, Virgo energy. Okay, doing uh, some soul searching here. All right, somebody's thinking here about the future stability here, trying to use their inner wisdom. You also have the Three of Swords. Okay, again, here's that Three of Swords energy. So I feel like that's where this disappointment is stemming from, right? There was some sort of loss or hurt. It could, be, could have been a money loss. You have the Four of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, this is going to be about a relationship. Right, there was some sort of hurt or loss in a relationship. All right, trying to get back to a place where things can be stable again. Um, and I want to also say, if this is not about love, this is about things coming together, right? Structure here, right? Those four wands act as, um, you know, kind of like a trellis here, right? There has to be four wands to hold the trellis up, right? There has to be stability. So for some of you, this is a relationship. For others, I feel, you know, this is definitely about your career and your finances, okay? Let's get some guidance and advice with the tarot. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you... Oh, we were going to clarify. Sorry, the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here, please? Why is the Five of Cups here, please? You have the Five of Wands. You have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Moon card. Ooh. Let's get one more. You have the Chariot. Okay, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel like there may be, like I said, there's something here where you're disappointed or you're feeling some sort of lack, not um, maybe treated fairly. 
in a situation but I want to say with this ace of pentacles this is something that's upcoming there is something upcoming here in your life that's going to bring a lot of stability it's not instant stability right when the universe brings you the ace of pentacles right this offer it's something that grows over the long term I feel like you're feeling disappointed um, about a particular situation right there either someone wasn't valuing you somebody was um, not treating you fairly there could have even been multiple people involved um, but this also can be your inner struggle right your inner struggle uh, fear I feel with moving forward here with the chariot could be dealing with a cancerian right so I feel there's you know there's an energy here and maybe some could be some drama around you people around you maybe giving you pushback right but it's also an install internal struggle here you also got strong Pisces uh, energy here with the moon card right okay but I feel like the universe is saying they're giving you some sort of uh, opportunity here with the ace of Pentacles there's something very nice coming in you also have the temp oh my gosh the temperance and you have the wheel here okay so there's a turn of events that are happening in your life a shift here right you can't control it it's faded right but there is um, you know you always have free will and choice but there are things that are faded that we can't control and with this uh, temperance card could be dealing with the Sagittarius there's something very nice here the universe is shifting the energy okay bringing you something very nice as I said, there's some sort of either lucrative offer, could be a love offer, right? I do feel like there could be somebody returning here as well. Or it can be new love. Uh, for a lot of you, this may be about your finances. Let's get the guidance and advice here. What's the guidance, guidance and advice for Aquarius? Okay, you have the Emperor. You, oh my gosh, look at that. The Emperor and the Empress. There's a, a divine couple there. I feel like this one wanted to come out too. Okay, Knight of Wands. So for some of you, this is about you becoming more passionate, right? Becoming passionate again. I do feel like there was some sort of disappointment, sadness. But this can be that energy where you're going to start feeling more motivated. Whatever this offer that is coming through to you, I feel, you know, um, you're going to feel that passion again, right? You're going to feel that little boost here with this Knight of Wands. Now, um, this, like I said, for some of you, you know, the Emperor and the Empress, this really could be a new business that you're setting up, right? Um, this also can be an energy here of parents right um maybe you weren't feeling like your parents were supporting you in a situation right that's not going to be for all of you right or you're becoming a parent as i said i do feel there could be somebody here who could be pregnant as well right and and becoming a parent and it feels like there is a father figure around um but for others i feel like this is love right somebody returning Okay, maybe somebody who was indecisive in the past, maybe somebody who was inconsistent in the past. I have the Page of Swords here, so I get that energy. You could have been dealing with somebody who is immature, or there could be some sort of age difference between you and this person. But I do feel like this person is returning if this is love for you. You do have a divine couple here, right? A divine couple, you know. The, the emperor usually isn't immature, so there could be some sort of just an age difference between the two of you. But this also can be about, you know, you're really in that element of uh, starting some sort of business, right? But you have here the seven of cups and you have the six of swords. Again, you had the seven of cups earlier. This tells me you have some options, right? You have some options, some decisions. There's an energy here of moving forward, right, with this Six of Swords, okay? Some of you, you know, this could actually be some sort of home move that you may be making, right? With this Ace of Pentacles, too. This could be some sort of offer, 
right that's coming in for you okay whether you know you've been searching for a new home you know you're selling your home right purchasing a home it looks like you have options here so there may be even a job offer there could be travel okay but what this shows me there's decisions to make and with the seven of cups they're not always good options but there's one that's going to give you some sort of movement in your situation right and that's using that discernment um, that we talked about earlier right you're going to move on and you're going to get to a better place where you're not feeling so conflicted this is also about you know learning from the past and moving on that new beginning we talked about with the magician right and i feel like there's a there's that you may be having a hard time from moving on from a situation, right? And it doesn't mean that maybe you're moving on from the particular person, but you're just moving on from the conflict or the drama or the struggle of it, right? So that you can be in this element of the sun card, be in peace and happiness, okay? So Aquarius, I feel your reading's very positive, right? We, we've seen what the challenges are. I do feel like there's an energy of someone returning from your past possibly a relationship or a relationship that you're already in and i feel like you're having to make a decision that's going to be for some of you so i'm going to take it to the extended um we'll look at your person what their upcoming or uh, what they're thinking or feeling their upcoming actions love messages <clears throat> and guidance so I hope to see you on the extended Aquarius, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel of...